should be good. It's the problem with doing this in the daylight. We have to drive around the parking lot and look for the best spot where the sun is not totally putting shadows <laughs> over it. <laughs> I can't believe that stupid piece of shit has been the highlight of my week so far. <laughs> hey, you must have had just a straight up shitty week. I made the mistake of on Sasquatch week picking some of the worst possible fucking movies I could have sat through and just fucking randomly too. <laughs> so man, this was still really hard to sit through. Like halfway through, I checked my watch and was like, it feels like I've been here so long. <laughs> so goddamn long. So long man. watching this. I mean, fuck, at least I'm not home watching some of those Sasquatch movies, but still <laughs> but still, this was really, really stupid. This was a long sit. This was a really long sit. And it was short, is the thing. It's so short that I don't think the movie started until, like, after previews had been on for a half an hour. Because we got, like, a shitload of previews in front of it. Plus two shorts. Yeah. Which... Normally, I, normally I would kind of be like, Jesus Christ, is this fucking movie gonna start? But I knew that the shorts that we the, got- The shorts that we that we got were going to be so much better than the actual movie itself that I was kind of sad that the shorts were done. I know! Same here! We've got, um... Like, let's just keep putting this stupid fucking thing off. I'm alright yeah, with this. never mind just showing the first five minutes of How to Train Your Dragon 2. Just show us that whole movie! Just show me that! That five minutes was easily better than any single five seconds of uh, Rio 2. Ugh. <laughs> Man. And we also got the, which we got this in front of uh, uh, Peabody and Sherman, that short with the aliens called Almost, Almost Home, Home over there. Which I just, Steve you, Martin. You got up to go use the restroom, like, before that short started. So once that short started, I was laughing. I was like, he's going to be really confused when he comes in and just sees there's a bunch of aliens on screen. <laughs> uh, wait a second. I thought this shit was about talking birds. <laughs> the fuck the aliens come from? I'm pretty sure one of them is Steve Martin. I think that that's my... Somebody... I, I heard that that's supposed to be like a full-length movie or something. The Almost Home thing. I might be wrong. Somebody told me something about that. That that's... They're, they're making a full-length movie out of that. I don't know. It'd be better than Rio 2. Yeah. Yeah, it sure would. Full disclosure, I haven't seen Rio 1. Neither have I. I know people who have seen Rio 1. Um, I know the people that I know who saw it liked it. it said they thought it was pretty cute. Um, critics seem to like Rio 1. Critics don't like Rio 2. People I know who like Rio 1 did not like Rio 2. I can see why. You've, you've all seen this movie before. This is about a hybrid of about six or seven different movies all blended into one. Every single one of them you've seen in countless motion pictures. It's Fern Gully. It's epic. It's Meet the Parents. <laughs> it's Bollywood Happy Feet. <laughs> it's all of that put into one movie. It has no on really ongoing plot. It's just they blew the main bird. He's a, a domesticated bird. He's a city bird. He's used to, you know, living in a house with technology, with television. His kids are used to that too. But the wife is from the Amazon. So they all go to the Amazon to catch up on their roots. And then she finds her dad. Blue is not fitting in well with the dad. He's trying to impress him. He's jealous of Handsome Bird, who's Bruno Mars with his literal feathered hair. And But it's not only that. It's also a story with um, fucking Calculon Bird. Unholy acting talent Bird. <laughs> Unholy acting talent? Who's easily the only character in the movie the only character. Yeah, it's the same with me. He was the only one that I liked. He's the only one who got a chuckle out of either one of us. But again, it was one of those... It's... I call it a sad laugh. It's whenever you're seeing movies that are just so bad, so stupid, so long, that eventually something is going to happen in it that you just can't help but laugh. That's you're exactly not what it was. laughing at the joke because the joke is really bad. If it happened before the movie when you still had stamina, uh -huh. you wouldn't have laughed at it. That's but it's like at that like at that part where you're like, uh, please just something entertain me. 
please. That's exactly what it was, because when we, because you and I laughed at the same two jokes, and we both kind of looked at each other afterwards and just went, well, that was a stupid joke. <laughs> they were both shit jokes. Both jokes that we laughed at in this were <laughs> shit jokes. It was when uh, they the birds first arrive in their colony in the Amazon, and one of them goes, I knew you were coming. I could see it in the droppings. Which... Do they base? Are they psychic birds that use their feces as tarot cards? I guess like, that opens up a whole world of like questions that I now have. <laughs> and then the other one was when Nigel, who wants revenge against Blue because of the events in the first movie, which I mean, th thank you. But I mean, that was convenient for the movie to flash back on that in the first one. So, um, but anyway, so he's looking at the colony of birds and says, and he says something like, um. I, I, it was another I, poop I, joke. I, 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 enjoy it while you can, for I am here to poop on your party. I am here to poop on your party. Yeah, that's what it was. At first, I thought it was Craig Ferguson doing that voice, which oh, that made me happy at first. That would but be, you, I think, I think it's uh, Jermaine. Okay. Um, whatever the hell his last name is, the Flight of the Concords guy, I believe that's Clement. Who it is. Is that what it is? Is it? I don't know. It, I just know Mr. Jermaine. I, I can call Alex. He'll tell us. <laughs> <laughs> sure would. Um, but uh, yeah, he, he says that. But when he's he sounds like when Craig Ferguson does his evil Craig voice. He kind of sounded like that a little bit in the movie. And <laughs> the fly, the, the fly went into your mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I he, see. He you ate it. He, he, he just ate it. Oh yes, Steve. Shall I go dig up your mother? <laughs> go to bed. Your voice. Your voice. I know. Soothing, isn't soothing, it? Soothing, isn't it? <laughs> so we're quoting something completely different because it's much more, better than the fucking thing. Far we're just fucking saying. more entertaining than this. Than this. I couldn't get as mad at this movie as I did with Epic, because this movie, like Epic, it's full of nothing but characters who just act like idiots. They say stupid things. They all know they're in a comedy, so they're acting wacky. They're slapsticky for really no reason other than it's going to keep the kids awake in the movie theater. But in this one... I didn't get as mad at it in this movie because this movie is consistently like that. There is no moment of drama in this thing. There's no moment where it's really trying to be serious, where it's just suddenly interrupted by shtick. That doesn't really happen here. It is just constant shtick from beginning to end. There's no moment where any of that took me out of anything. It was all just thoroughly stupid. The only thing where I was ever really kind of like, oh, wow, was when, oh, yeah, half of the movie is American Idol. That's what I mean. This whole movie is just might as well be called Meanwhile, because that's what it is. Sometimes it's the meet the parents thing. Sometimes it's with the scientists. Sometimes it's Fern Gully. And sometimes it's American Idol in the Amazon. So, yeah, when they're doing this American Idol audition, some of the people competing, people, I mean birds, but they act like people, um, and they're getting eaten. Um, yeah. They're just, they're just fucking getting eaten throughout it. One time they end up as skeletons. Yeah, there was like these little, like, like, like big ass, I can't think of, they're like mm -hmm. giant buck tooth rat things. I can't think of what they're yeah. actually called. I was putting my hand up to see if I could feel the wind up here, because that would mean on their end they're hearing... <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could roll that up <laughs> from my side. Um, uh, that takes care of it on my own. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, the skeletons. Yeah. It wow. Was like, yeah, it was those. Uh, I, I don't remember what the hell they're called, but they're big ass rat looking things that yeah. live in the Amazon, and they're like this dancing, rapping group. Uh huh. And, like, they're doing this bit in the water, and then, like, suddenly a, the cyclone of piranhas just kind of circle about them for a quick second and disappear. Then there's the one up top who wasn't injured who's looking down at, like, ah! Yeah. While he's standing on top of a pyramid of just skeletons. Of corpses. Of corpses. Of just skeletons. <laughs> yeah, that was like, ah. <laughs> I guess it is the Amazon. I mean, if we go a couple miles away, the events of Cannibal Holocaust will be happening. <laughs> 
<laughs> Can't I see one Amazon movie without animal cruelty? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> the only time I really got pissed off in this movie was because you heard me just yell at the screen at one point. Um, oh, the, the fucking Jewel? Is that the wife's name? Yeah, that's yeah, that's her. Fucking you, conceited twat. What the that, fuck was her problem? I could problem? not stand that shit. Like the old, the whole reason why Blue went to the Amazon was to appease his wife because she was all about it. He's yeah. like, uh, this is not my bag. I don't know anything about it. Wasn't born in the wild, but. Fuck it, all right, whatever. Yeah. I'll make you happy. Some people are city people, some are... Some are... Amazon people, Amazon. I guess. <laughs> um, so, Blue, like, he does all this stuff as as a uh, as a sign of love, kind of. Yeah, yeah, you know, he does. To, and, like, he, yeah, he's a bumbling idiot, but he's trying, at yeah. least. He's giving it the old can-do attitude. And like at the end of the movie, he's he's like he's fed up, like he's had enough. He's like, this is not for me. I'm he's trying so hard in this movie. He's he trying really, is. really hard. In the same way that you've seen in all these in movies, all you know, like movies. Greg Fokker, all of that. Yeah, type stuff. anytime where there's a bumbling nice guy who's with the woman way out of his goddamn league, and then yeah. there's the handsome one, and then there's that friction. It's the same fucking thing. Yeah, but like, so he's trying so hard to impress the dad and to upstage Bruno Mars. And uh, so he eventually just he gets really sick of it, mm -hmm. and he's like, you know what? I, I, I've tried, tried really hard. I can't do this. I am not a city person. I am a, or I'm sorry, I'm not a, I'm not a jungle person. I'm a city person. Yeah, I get it. And I totally get. Yeah, understand like that. I understand his dilemma. Like he's trying. It's just uh -huh. not who he is. You know, you got to respect that about him. And then she says, can you stop thinking about yourself for a second? And I yelled at the screen. <laughs> yeah, you did. She was like, can you can you stop thinking about yourself for a second and think about your family? And that's why, that's why, uh, <laughs> that's why Brad was like, back at you, bitch. No shit, because, like, yeah, he really you. is trying. You've been like, on a goddamn vacation since this motherfucker has shown up, hanging out with all the family that you haven't seen because you thought they were dead. Uh, yeah, I respect that. That's yeah, fine. Go yeah. off and do your thing. Great. Eventually, I want to go the fuck back home. Yeah. So say goodbye to the goddamn family. We've got to go. She brings up the kids. She's like, the kids are happy here. The kids are going to be happy no matter where they are. They were happy at the beginning. They're of happy the movie at the beginning. Too. They're happy in the middle. They're happy when yeah. the bad shit's happening. There are just a couple, uh, three happy ass kids. It's like, look, if fucking sometime we, I gotta go home. You know. I, like, do you know, and also, this is not a safe place for the kids. Have you seen how many birds have been murdered? I know, right? <laughs> and also, let's be honest, the dad really should have been voiced by John Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because the voice kind of sounded like it, but whoever was doing the voice, I'm sure it was some celebrity, but whoever was doing the voice was playing it serious, but sounded kind of like John Benjamin, but it was played serious, so it really wasn't that funny. But if it was John Benjamin in there, like, that would have been, that would have been really, that, I, I would have gotten some laughs out of that. Yeah, like, been. I got laughs out of fucking Nigel, just because he was playing it straight, and yeah. he was, like, you know, thespian bird, who calls himself Bob at one point. That's his, that's his stage name. Bob. They really missed a golden opportunity to name a character Bob Crane. <laughs> I mean, come Man. on. They have Jesse Eisenberg. <sighs> yeah. Uh, wait, wait, hang on. I got one more. Go ahead. I got one more. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> this movie's name is Rio, and it dances in the bland. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's I'm not, I got no more. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I can't top Duran Duran Bird reference. <laughs> don't worry, the preview for planes uh, filled us on all of those oh, puns. Uh, yeah. Pickup truck. Ugh, pickup truck. God damn it. Replacing the word shit with Chevy, which that was a reach. Like, pickup truck I at least get, but... The Chevy shit joke was kind of... That movie looks... Oops, shit. I know, I just did the exact same damn thing to myself. No, my jeans that already have marinara on them. <laughs> um, 
Uh, which that movie looks what the fuck? It looks like planes crossed with that movie Firestorm with Howie Long. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> Is it a disaster movie told from the <laughs> point of view of planes about a forest fire? I hope so. <laughs> I hope some of these fuckers die. What what was that weird found footage kids movie? Oh you got? wow, yeah, I got a goddamn found footage kids movie. Echo. Echo. Uh, it was like Earth, Earth to Earth Echo. Earth to Echo. That's Earth, what it Earth was. Earth to Echo. That was yeah, because I was like, oh man, I was hoping we were gonna get our Echo the Dolphin movie. They <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really stretch it with this alien robot. We had dolphins in Rio too. Which are there? Do yeah, they're dolphins. And the there are dolphins in the Amazon. Okay, all right. I mean, I I didn't know, but in any of the, that's just my own ignorance. Because anytime I ever see anything that takes place in the Amazon, it's there's never dolphins there. It's always it's always reptiles and snakes and stuff. Yeah, like that. I mean, there 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 are dolphins there. They're not. I, I don't think they're found in like the heart of the Amazon. Where they were in this movie. Where they were in this movie. They were swimming with the gators. They were swimming with the gators. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like dolphins will occasionally, you know, go a little bit within the the big ass river, but I I don't think they're in the heart of the Amazon necessarily. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I didn't even know if there were any there to, to begin with. But uh, you know, that that movie looked Earth to Echo. It looked like Chronicle meets ET. Yeah. That was weird. Like, honestly, truth be told, like, if we're going by, like, tone of the trailer and even some of the acting in the trailer, it's it's not that I really thought it looked necessarily bad, but why does it have to be a found footage movie? I mean, maybe... Why does any found footage movie have to be a found footage movie? Any, yeah, and there's only a few times I can think of recently where I'm like, okay, I get why this is found footage. Um... Chronicle being one, others no. I mean, it's I, I'm. I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen this Earth to Echo thing coming out, but just judging by the trailer, man, these kids have a really good fucking camera. Of course they do. What the fuck? Better shit than I'll ever own. Yeah. Uh. So that was kind of my thing with the trailer. Why in the shit is this a found footage yeah, movie? Yeah. Like what? Uh, Earth man. to Echo. Like, I thought I was safe from that with kids' movies. Like, I honestly thought, like, of all the types of movies I would have to see that are also children's movies, because they do cross genre a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, I really don't think found footage would ever be one of them. Well, you made a joke, too, I during... I was wrong. Yeah, I was... And honestly, I'm surprised it's taken this fucking long. You know, yeah. because you made a joke in Rio too when uh, Nerdy Guy has uh, the video camera, and you're like, I swear to God, if this is going to turn into a found footage it's, movie. It's, I swear to God, if this turns into an animated found an footage animated movie. An animated found I footage out. movie. I'm out. I is am there... out. No, there is never, that has never. No. <laughs> I, I'm trying to think of. I mean, maybe some, like, really, like, direct to video. Like, that, there's, okay. there might be, there may be, like, some obscure. Really, really obscure animated direct to DVD children's movie that's found footage. <laughs> yeah. But me, when I put the period at the end of that sentence and I wasn't really sure if I should finish or not, like you could tell, like, no, no. Like, I've seen a lot of animated yeah. movies. And I have never seen a found footage. That seems like movie. something that would go theatrical. It does. Um, you need to get on this. An animated found an footage animated movie? An animated found footage movie before somebody takes our idea. Okay. I'll, all right, I'll do it. I'll bring <laughs> It'll be about uh, Phelan Sasquatch. <laughs> 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 It'll be an animated version of Buggy Creek. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I can get in on this. I would I would watch the fuck out of that. Um, I wouldn't. It's still an animated, you're in it. I don't care if I'm in it. It's still an animated found footage movie. <laughs> you're one of those actors like Johnny Depp. You don't watch the movies. You're I don't in. watch the movies I'm in. My job is done here. I'm done with this. I don't need this. to watch this. I don't need to watch this garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's funny that you mention that because I actually don't like watching the movies that I've been in. There are some that I've been in that I haven't seen. As, there's, well, I mean, I've I've had to watch everything that I've been in because 
everybody else wants to watch it, usually when I'm around. So mm -hmm. I, I've seen the way that I look on camera, but... Usually we get together when the movie's done and watch it on the computer yeah. or on the TV you know, or something. We, we got a premiere to make sure it looks fine, so I'm mm -hmm. usually there for that. But I still, I, I don't like watching the movies I'm in. There's been stuff that I've been in that I forgot I was even in. <laughs> like, I, I had to go to my IMDb page for some reason. The, the, I needed to look up a character name or something like that. I'm scrolling. There have been times when I've seen something and been like, whoa, when was I like voice of giraffe and then I click I'm like oh oh okay I was a bully and the voice of a bully in a cartoon <laughs> there was one where I was like well, I, I was really confused at one point I was like whoa wh when was I in an episode of demo reel not the one we shot the this is before that I'm like oh the review must go on there I'm in it for like a second so it's on my IMDB page now <laughs> what a what the fuck else did we... Oh, Peanuts. There's a Peanuts movie There's coming out. There's a Peanuts out. movie coming out. I'm not excited. Not gonna lie. Not a fan of Peanuts. You, you don't even like Snoopy? Uh, <sighs> do, 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 do. Oh, come on. Snoopy Come Home is the saddest movie ever made. The movie's really sad, man. The little girl, she's like dying of cancer and shit, and Snoopy, like, oh. they have to say goodbye, and they all give him bones as oh, he's going God, away. Oh, that's right. Remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Man, fuck that movie. He ends up with that uh, abusive, abusive girl. Abusive girl, girl. yeah. That movie's sad as hell. The movie is fucked up. Like, unnecessarily, unnecessarily sad, sad, quite sad. honestly. God damn. <laughs> I like You're Reese. bringing me down, Peanuts! <laughs> I like Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I like Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, and Don't Come Back. <laughs> I, I like Peanuts. I've never been a really big fan of Peanuts. It's, I, I, I mean, I got, I, I, it's not a, a hatred or anything like that. Oh, it's just, sure. I, just, I don't know, Peanuts are just never really appeal to me. I mean, I like the Snoopy dance. I like yeah. the, the dances that they do. I would uh -huh. dance like that on the oh, dance yeah. floor. I don't care. And that <laughs> was in the commercial. Hell yeah. Like, tilt the head up. Just start shaking. It's so much fun. It's a blast. It's like a 30-second teaser. That's basically what it is. It's Charlie Brown there and Snoopy, and Snoopy comes up and starts dancing. The animation looks interesting. It does. It, it's, it looks uh, claymation. Yeah. It's like a hybrid yeah. of like what looks like claymation, but also 2D and 3D. Like, it looked interesting. It had a very... It had a very... Well, it gave it like that... It gave it like uh, like a modern day feel of that old like squiggle vision that the yeah. uh, that the uh, penis were originally. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of they they try to modernize that that still that that same atmosphere. And honestly, I think that's the it right looked, way to go. I th you're right. I think it, it it is the right way to go. And looking at it, I mean it it looked like a penis I, thing. I mean it. Yeah, it looked mod. It it looked like. Exactly what you said, a cross between modern animation yeah, I mean, and what they did, and that's honestly so the right way to go, yeah, because I I've agree. seen, like, when they do, like, realistic Charlie Brown, which is like a 3D oh, picture, it's, it's, and it's, it's just terrifying. It's so it. scary. So honestly, that is so the right way to go with it. Yeah, this. I agree. <laughs> that would look so it horrible. It would look so bad. <laughs> that's, we got that fucking early, that's, that comes out in 2015? Uh, that's what it said. It said coming 2015. 2015? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, we got that shit early. Jesus fucking Christ. Explains why the teaser... I thought teaser... that said in De December 2015. Is that what it was? No, it said um, just... I, I don't think it had a month. I could have sworn one wrong. of these crappy ones are coming out in December. What else? Oh, we oh Annie. That's the one coming out in December. That's the one that's coming out in December. Annie. We got, we got Annie. We got Annie. We got the... Which... I, I am not, I'm so not a fan of the original movie. I, I always found, even when I was a kid and I had to watch it, I found that movie just fucking obnoxious. I get there was very little I liked about that fucking movie. Except like, you know, I mean, Telly Savalas is always cool, but other than that, but because of that, because I found the original one so obnoxious, I saw the trailer for this and was kind of like, okay, this looks like something that I might not really end up liking all that much. I honestly thought it looked better than the original. <laughs> Aside from weird Cameron Diaz miscasting. Yeah, that is really weird. <laughs> It's like, oh, we want to replace Carol Burnett with a character that looks like Paris Hilton. What the fuck? 
Why is she in charge I of do, all these I kids? I do remember Carol Burnett being my absolute favorite about the original Annie. Yeah. I, like, I, I really like that character. I, I, yeah. The last time I watched it, which was <laughs> a long time ago. I can give it that. But the, like, I, I never, I don't really mind Annie. It, it's not a bad musical, I guess. It, the songs are catchy. The songs are we really all catchy. Them. Yeah. And the issue I have is when I was younger, I was in a, um, I was in a play mm -hmm. of Annie, and I remember... They wouldn't let you play Annie? They wouldn't let me play Annie. <laughs> they casted me as Oliver Twist, where I had to... Nice! Where I had to... Yeah, I was Oliver Twist in a school play many years ago, where I had to sing and all that good shit. <laughs> so when they did Annie, I was like, well, I'm a shoe-in for Annie. Yeah! Fuck no. Assholes. Did you get to play Daddy Warbucks? <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> with a bald cap. With a bald cap, I would have gotten a cigar and a monocle. I would have rocked that shit. <laughs> Wish I was Daddy Warbucks. Man, at least you were in like a, the only school play I was ever in. A uh, school play. Uh, I was other than that at the theater. Said in seventh grade, I was an extra in The Outsiders and a voiceover. But other than that, the only school play I was in, which is one that I also directed because I was talked <laughs> into it, it was a Spanish version of Snow White, I believe. I don't know Spanish. I didn't then. I don't now. <laughs> This play you was are a, the perfect director yeah. for this. This play was a train wreck. <laughs> I had no idea what anyone was saying. Um, I had no idea really who was who in terms of the minor characters. Um, I just had to make sure no one fell on their ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I wish I could have saw that play. I just had to, after it was over, I just had to look at the Spanish people in the audience and just go, uh, bueno? Uh, <laughs> muy bueno? Si. 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 Oh, thank God. Oh. Oh, woo -hoo -hoo. oh, thank God. I didn't know if I was being offensive or if I was doing this the right way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my extracurricular activity for was that it? for that semester or whatever God, the fuck had, it was. I was in so many plays. I didn't like God. really doing any of them. I didn't I'm like doing play, that. I'm not, I'm not a play guy. No, no, I'm me just, either, I'm, right? I'm, I'm not. Like it, when I was younger, I always had to do the musicals. I, I used I used to sing. I used to sound like an angel. You still do got the <laughs> sexy voice. I got the I got the sweet sweet baritone. Now, yeah. But when I was younger, my I, I actually had a really really like squeaky girly voice. Nice. I really did like mm -hmm. high pitched. And so when I sang uh, the Oliver Twist, for example, like I sounded like a girl, like just a straight <laughs> girl singing it. <laughs> Who, is this, Who is this talented? Who is this talented, beautiful, golden haired young lass? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Bravo, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Oliver Twist, uh, Annie, uh, Three Little Pigs play. Um, this uh, play called Bugs. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't in that. I was Space Jam? I wish. <laughs> uh, I was supposed to be in that, but I got high and decided not to try out for any of the parts. So I was in the props department. <laughs> he, I, I got high. We had like there was a, a production of hair. <laughs> it's best to hang out in the props department. That's where <laughs> yeah, all the really yeah, good it, weed is. It's all the great weed is. <laughs> we had like like in the in the play, like when they were instead of having like a gunfight because it was a comedy, we threw pies. Nice. We literally threw pies. So my job was to fill the shit with the pie. So I was sitting there baked off my goddamn mind. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Doing. Oh wait a second! Spine. I can do whip it. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Here you go. <laughs> I I give props to anyone who could do theater and stuff like that. I, I my memory's not I can't memorize that much. Movies are perfect for me because I can I can memorize that. I can you know we're doing this scene today. We're doing this scene tomorrow. Okay, I can have that. I can have that down. Theater beginning to end and stuff. I can't do that. My memory's not that good. I could do a small part. <laughs> well, like 
yeah, like once I got into high school and everything, my my attitude towards plays just kind of came to a point. Where I was like, I just I, I don't want to do it no more. Mm-hmm. Like there was a time where I enjoyed acting and being on stage and whatnot, but mm-hmm. when I was in high school, it's like I'm I'm kind of over this. Yeah. But in senior year, actually, I take that back. Sophomore year, I was also in another play that was, oh god, this play was all about the dangers of drug use. Did you guys get Reefer got, Madness? We didn't get Reefer. No, this was like serious, like downer, oh, weird shit. shit. Oh, it sucks so god. And they got the biggest fucking pothead, the biggest drug user in school, me, to play. Like, not only did I play like the main kid, yeah. troubled youth, I played 16 different Part in this fucking You were the Peter 16. Sellers. 16. I was 16 different fucking people in this play. You were the Peter Sellers in this I play. I was. And because the the director was this it was this girl who was like a grade or two younger than me who battled her fight with I don't know, she said something like narcos, I believe mm. is what she was on. Whatever, shut up. <laughs> Fuck off. Like, I just did a line of Coke and some mushrooms. I'm good to I go! Came. I'm good to go! Woo! <laughs> That's why you were the perfect choice to play 16 well, different 16 parts. I 16 different parts. I can I'm, do this. I'm high on 16 different drugs. What? <laughs> which one do you want, baby? Method actor. They I'm were method all the actor. characters were all, all on this. different drugs. <laughs> Shooting heroin in my eye. <laughs> uh, that one, because she picked this play, right? And it was all serious. And, mm-hmm. like, I had to be this... It was, like, this 90s feel, so I had to play, like, this grungy oh, guitar... Oh, doing heroin, kid. Nobody understands me. Gus Van oh, Sant uh, came in to guest God. direct this play. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucking terrible. I was so irritated. I had to play so many different parts because the play that she picked. I don't know why my teacher allowed her to do it, but the play was for like, like a cast of thirty-five <laughs> to forty-five people. Like this was a big, big production, I guess. And she was like, I want to do this. And I want him to be one of, like, my lead actor. Mm. I looked at the script, I was like, bitch, you crazy. <laughs> bitch, you crazy. Like, I gotta, fuck. I can't play Othello. I can't. <laughs> sure you can. Sure you can. Just right in the middle of this. All right, I want you to do Othello on heroin. <laughs> okay. Our school got weird with the anti-drug thing. Yeah. Like seriously, man. Like, uh, here's what our school did. There was a bit like a big like anti-drug, anti-drunk driving week, and the group, the club, the anti-drug club in school, which I was not a part of that club. Um, anyway, they dressed they dressed up like they were dead. I know, I'm not even kidding. And then what they had to do was they they had a shirt on that said like I died due to overdose of blah blah blah. They walked around with like dead cake makeup on their face and they couldn't say anything throughout the whole day. And so I walked in, probably high. I walked in. I didn't know they were gonna do that. So I walked in and I see one guy stand there that I knew. I saw him walking by, and I'm just like. <laughs> Dude, you look like shit, man. <laughs> man, was, you look like death warmed over. You could see him, like, smirking because he wanted to laugh, like, but he, like, couldn't. And then they had this thing. I think this might have made it in, like, the newspaper the next day. Uh, there was, like, a whole reenactment in the parking lot of a drunk driving accident. Wrecked car, body through the windshield, oh. helicopter, uh, ambulance. So anybody driving by when this is going on is probably going to be Shit. really fucking confused why this horrific accident is going on while all the students in the class are just watching. <laughs> that is what we are te- That's what. That's what we are taught. <laughs> When terrible things happen, gather around and watch. Yeah. That's a terrible thing to teach. That's why I like to watch nowadays. I always (laughs) like to watch. I don't want to be in it. I just want to watch. Mm. We, Man, we have nothing else to say about Rio 2, seriously. It was... We were joking beforehand. I was like, 
the benefit of something like this that didn't have a pre-screening, so we just had to come see it whenever, the benefit of something like this is anybody watching this, it's not like, like, we can review this two weeks after it comes out. Right? Like, no one is watching nobody this. Nobody gives a fuck about the movie. Nobody is yeah. watching this for our honest yeah. to God opinion about real fucking two. You all pretty much know what it's going to be. <laughs> you're not You're not watching this, like, because, like, oh, before I go see Rio 2, I need uh, to see I need, what I need to go see what these guys, because I already no. know from experience that nobody listens to us while we do this shit yeah we still go and see the fucking movies yeah yeah so like we could have we could have waited for this to come on yeah, video we could have done this shit on it. video then be like ah right, here's our review for rio 2 uh, and the same amount of people the same amount of people it. would watch it it fucking read it of course it was stupid yeah it was stupid you. it was stupid it was, yeah now i gotta go fucking home and watch the rest of this sasquatch movie before i have to come back to the movie theater to see heaven is totes real yo heavens is totes real yo <laughs> I got to support Greg Kinnear. Yeah. yeah you do. <laughs> I like, and it's got Thomas Hayden Church in it. Does it? Yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, they. <laughs> I, I don't know. I like I said. I I remember seeing a a preview for that at one of the movies I went to, but I don't watch a lot of previews. I honestly have no idea what's coming out anytime soon. I don't know when I'm going to be used again. I don't and know. A, what. There's another kids movie in a couple weeks. I can't remember what it is. But I noticed it. Everybody. I noticed it when I looked to see what was coming up in May. There is, there is one that's coming out here uh, within like the next month or so. But off the top of my head, I can't remember. I'm gonna be back. Uh, I kind of just like going into these things half cocked. That's oh that's yeah, because we joked about that. Yeah, that's how I went into draft day. Like I didn't see it preview for it i had no idea what this movie was about it's just like hey uh, can you do me a solid is he draft day this is the same with like, r.i.p.d what the fuck is draft day all right fuck <laughs> it let's do this yeah the same with r.i.p.d it's like what the hell is this <laughs> hi you'll be fine you'll be fine go see it <laughs> and at the end of it, it's like what uh, damn it it stands for rest in peace department duh oh <laughs> my apologies <laughs> That was, yeah, because we joked about that. We are like, oh, that could be a new gimmick. Yes. Jake goes to movies he's never heard I've of I've never before. fucking heard of before. It's easy to do. What because the hell whenever is going you, on? It's easy to do because the previews you get are for all the kids' movies. So yeah. why would you have gotten a trailer for Draft Day? I've never got a trailer for Draft Day. And don't really get... I like, did. Like, every fucking week I got a trailer for that. And I mean, like, all the children, like, I, I kind of know what's coming up children's movies-wise. Come. Oh, you know what? I think it's How to Train Your Dragon 2. I think that's the one that's coming up. Oh, movie. sweet. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I really liked How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah. You got any final thoughts on Rio 2? Oh, this movie's fucking waste of time. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. just a colossal waste of time. This got me away from those Sasquatch movies for like 90 minutes. So, okay, I guess I got out of the house for a little fucking bit. Yeah. I'll be back later with Heavens for Real. Heavens and... is Toad's Real, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow is... Brick Mansions and The Quiet Ones. We're seeing them tomorrow, but I don't think I'll have time to post it before I leave for the con, because I gotta leave Oh early. yeah, the con's this weekend, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, we got C2E2 this weekend, but if I don't get it posted before the cons, which I probably won't be able to, uh, they'll be posted Sunday night. But don't worry, you got Rio 2 and Heaven is Totes Real, yo, Heaven is Totes to Real, watch. yo. <laughs> Later.